हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम गौरव हेयर एंड दिस इज अ पार्ट फोर ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी गोन क्रिएट अ स्क्रिप्ट फॉर मेकिंग कैमरा टू फॉलो अवर प्लेयर लेट्स डाइव इन टू द यूनिटी बट फर्स्ट इफ यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल प्लीज चेक आउट प्रीवियस वीडियो फर्स्ट जस्ट फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड ऑल्सो कंसिडर टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल दैट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू मी सो as you see here it's our old project we were working on it from last couple of videos there is just a ground and a player as we were make in the last videos let's make a folder for our scripts and move player movement script in there just keep our project nice and tidy and uh, now create a script camera follow double click to open it now first get rid of the start method for now we don't need that now we need some variables first we need is a reference to what we want to follow means our target which is our player to get our target reference we need to get our player transform public transform as you already know that whenever we want to access position rotation and scale we use transform okay and make sure it's a public cause we will get our player from hierarchy now in update create a vector 3 for our desired camera position Vector three, desired pose equal to player transform dot position plus, and now here we need our camera offset. Let's create another variable vector three, vector three, offset. And the reason I created a vector three because I want to offset our camera in all three directions and make it public too. Here we just add our offset with the transform dot position. Now let's create another vector three for uh, uh, smooth camera movement. Vector three smooth pause equal to vector three dot lerp. Well, lerp stands for linear interpolation. Uh, it's a built-in Unity function that returns a value in between two points. So first, this function takes uh, our current position point one, which is our transform dot position, and uh, then desired position point 2 which is our desired pose then type in float let's make a float variable public float uh, smooth speed and give it a value five should be fine i think transform dot position equal to smooth pose and doing that our camera now able to follow our player smoothly and it's a good idea to make it frame independent let's multiply it with time dot delta time And now let's check it in Unity. As our camera follows script on camera, and give it a player transform by simply dragging player into the player transform slot. And now hit play button, and nothing is visible. And why? Let's see that. Because our camera offset is currently set on zero zero zero. Let's tweak that and move it a little bit. Back in Z direction, and also move it a little bit up in Y direction, and it's up to you. You can tweak it as you like. But for me, uh, I think 20 in Y and uh, minus 30 in Z looks perfect. And it's working fine. Let's head back to the script and add one more line here. Transform dot look at Player transform. It's another Unity's built-in function. This function will always make sure that the camera will always looks towards target. Uh, let's head back to the Unity again and check what we got there. Hit play and look at that. How cool looking is that? But there is a one more problem, and the problem is that whenever our camera follows our player, sometimes it looks very jittery movement. Do you notice that? Well, let's solve it, and again, let's go back to the script. It's very easy to solve that problem. We just need to use late update method instead of update. And why we are going to do that? Well, because for now, our player and our camera movement script both are depend on uh, update method. Cause of it, our player and our camera starts moving in same time, and sometimes camera moves first, and sometimes player. So that's why we are getting. Jittery movement, and that we don't want. 
so we are using late update cause it's called just after update method it's like a cameraman following his target cause obviously cameraman can move first cause his movement depends on his target so he don't know when and where his target will move simple logic now let's check it in unity and see how smooth is it. and now there is no jittery movements anymore well i think now it's time to end this video i hope you learned something new and uh, for now i'll meet you in further upcoming videos till then keep learning keep practicing and one last thing you can subscribe my channel if you like there is a button down there red red button you are familiar with that i know if you subscribe my channel it will help me to keep motivated so that i can make more videos uh, well that's it take care and see you later goodbye